Leela Morrison grew up in South Georgia, a small town country girl. She was just 22 years old when she graduated from nursing school and faced a life altering decision. America was at war and the army needed nurses. They said, if you girls don't volunteer, we might have to draft you. And that would be insulting to the nursing profession. So we decided to join. Leela joined her mobile medical team in Europe, always on the front line, always in the face of danger. It was pretty bad. We could hear the guns and every time a big gun like a German 88 went over us, our tents, the roof of the tent would go whoof, whoof. And you thought, sure, it was gonna blow the, the roof off, but it never did. Before the war was over in Europe, Leela would witness a horror even greater than combat. She was on the team that provided aid at the liberation of Buchenwald concentration camp. Being 22, uh, I don't know if I felt the deepness of it or not, but it, it's never left me. I, I just couldn't believe you could treat one human another one. Leela remembers clearly the sick horror of Buchenwald too terrible to share here, but she also remembers a moment of unexpected appreciation. I want to tell you about one young man. He was so happy. He, he just could hardly contain himself. He was so happy. He had a smile all over. And he said, oh, the Americans came in here and with their big tanks and they knocked that wall down and they said, you're free. And he just couldn't believe it. And he wanted to thank us. Gone now is Leela's husband, Walter, who was a World War II combat veteran as well. Over the 65 years of their marriage, they quietly leaned on each other and learned to make sense of what they experienced during World War II. Today, Leela talks openly about freedom and most of all, about the sacrifice of those Americans that defended it for us all. So Memorial Day uh, brings back a lot of those memories that most people don't have, especially now. And uh, it's my desire to, to pass the word down. I, I don't want to be fanatic, but I, I do want them to realize freedom comes at a high, high price. And I see a lot of those faces that didn't make it, but they did, they sacrificed for us so we could make it.